Everybody praise the Lord now. I will praise him every day. Oh, praise him every day. I will praise the Lord. Everybody praise the Lord now. I will praise him every day. Praise him every day. I will praise the Lord. Oh, brother, praise the Lord now. I will praise him every day. Yes, it's a day. I will praise the Lord. Everybody praise the Lord now. Praise is to her God. 
I say praise the Lord.
Amen. And a global Amen. We should, remain, we should continue to remain standing as we go to the Lord in prayer. I want us to open our mouths and bless the name of the Lord. For either to he has helped us from the first day of this program. Now being the last day, the grand finale of this program. Let's worship the name of the Lord for this seminar, for the impact, and for all the messages we have received for those that have been saved. For those that have been restored for miracles, deliverances. Let's thank the Lord for the conservation of the convert in this program. For the strength and grace for those that are going through persecution. That God will, that will remain steadfast. That God will be with them. That God will sustain this great open door of salvation to the world through GCK. Let's thank the Lord that God will make all this work together for good to, the, to us as we believe that this program has come to stay. That God will sustain this program. That God will preserve those that are saved. That God will strengthen those and more grace for those going through persecution. Let's, go, let's continue to pray that God will never leave us alone. That this open door, this great open door, we will be steadfast, we remain in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name we pray. We are still in the mood of prayer. We are praying for the preservation of the truth globally. That this truth will be preserved all over the world, in all the, in all the continents of the world. And that the fear of God will be in the land. The Bible says, and ye shall know the truth, and the truth shall make us free. The truth of the gospel will remain, will be preserved from one generation to another generation. Let's pray for the truth of the gospel globally. And that the fear of the Lord we fill the land. In Jesus' name we pray. We are still in the mood of prayer. We are praying for the reign of righteousness in the government at all levels. Among the community leaders, righteousness shall prevail. Righteousness exalts a nation. Let's pray that the righteousness, godly righteousness, will prevail in all our government system across the world, all over the world. Pray to the Lord. We need that for us to have rest of mind in the world. If there's righteousness in the government, there'll be peace in the world. Pray for righteousness. Pray that God Almighty will instill his righteousness in the heart of our government, in the heart of our community leaders, in all levels. And this will be done in Jesus' name. Amen. Global amen. amen. We are still praying. Let's pray and decree for peace of God to reign all over the nations of the world before, after, and during this program. And the Bible says, and the peace of God which passes all understanding shall keep your heart and mind through Christ Jesus. Pray for the peace of the world. We know what is going on around the world. We've prayed for Russia and to pray, but we still need to pray that God will seize this war and the peace of God will reign. Souls of men are dying, unrepented, going to eternity unprepared. That God Almighty will stop this war. We still need to pray for China and Taiwan. There's an escalation of war, but that God will discalate those things. That the peace of God will reign in those places. What about our nation, the Alpha location? The peace of God will reign in that place in Nigeria. As the, fourth, as the election is coming forth, that God Almighty will take control of everything. That God Almighty will make man after his own heart to rule that nation. That there will be peace. That nothing will stop this great program. There will be peace of God. In Jesus' name we pray. Global amen, please. In Jesus' name we pray. We are still praying. We need to pray for the churches. The churches and the global are waiting for righteousness. The Bible says, stay up thyself and awake to my judgment. The righteousness of God will reign in all the churches. If we all are united in the doctrine, the righteousness of God, the world will be awakened. Let's pray that God will awake the church globally for his righteousness. 
that God will awake us, that God will awake you. Wherever you have come from, God will awake you for righteousness. Pray that God Almighty will descend upon all the occultic seeds across the world for total triumph. Total triumph. All those evil personality, principality, that God will descend upon them and liberate the people of the world. That God will liberate them. Pray for them. That God will liberate those under the occultic influence. And they could not come out that the spirit of the Lord, the power of the Lord will liberate them. In Jesus' name, we pray. We are going to pray for our GS, the convener, and the ministers, that God will strengthen them and more of divine direction. Pray for them that the strength of the Lord will continue to abide with our GS, our Father in the Lord. With this vision of the GCK at this last time, that God will lighten the vision, that God will strengthen him as he moves from state to state. And there's a plan to go outside the country, that the Spirit of the Lord, the divine, God, the direction from God will be upon his life. Let's pray for him. Pray for him, that God will strengthen him, that God will enlarge the cause, that this open door of salvation through this GCK, GCK will be mighty and great, in our side, and the name of the Lord will be glorified. As I've said before, this is the last day. What do you want God to do for you? Are you still there? You have not given your life to Jesus? You still have the chance to do that today. Or what are the sicknesses you brought here? Or what do you want God to deliver you from? As we come together tonight, believe in God that you will never go back on the same. God we answer every prayer. God, we answer every problem that you have brought here today. Or have you backsliding? You have backslidden? And you think, I've gone so far, I cannot come back. The, the, blood of the, of the, the blood of Christ is still there for you. And it will cleanse you and you will be restored. Pray, pray, tell God what you want God to do for you this last day. In Jesus' name we pray. I want a louder amen. amen. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. amen. Let's pray together now. Our Father Lord, we thank you because you are our God. We thank you because of this session of prayer. We have committed all into your hand. We thank you for the victory we have received through the triumph power of blood. And as this program is coming to an end tonight, we know that what we've prayed for those that have been saved and that will be saved tonight, you will preserve them. That the truth of the gospel globally will be preserved. And Lord, we pray for our GS, you will strengthen him the more as he moves from zone to zone. Lord, I pray your protection will be upon his life, him and the minister that are working with him. And I, Lord, I pray the divine direction will continue to abide with him. And as he's leading us, in this last day, toward that heavenly home, Lord, we pray, none of us will miss that track in Jesus' name, but we will follow faithfully until we reach the home, our home in Jesus' name. Well, thank you, Lord, because I know you've answered. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Praise the Lord. We have this special announcement to make. Number one, to remind us of the convert banquet coming up this Sunday, September 4. Here in the Alpha location, it is coming up at the Deeper Life headquarters, Itanla, Undo, and in all the other regions headquarters in the state, and also all over the regions in the country and all the other locations in the globe. We have some dignities who are here in the house. We have, once again, Pastor Olushola, are your daily of CAC Undo? If he's here, can we recognize him? Thank you. God bless you. We also have Pastor Temidire 
Adejuwo of CAC JCPM Ondo, you are welcome. We have Pastor Samuel Olubode of Khan Director. If it's, you are welcome, please. We also have Pastor Mrs. Adeleke of Joy of Salvation Evangelical Ministry. You are welcome. We also have Dr. Owoniyi Sunday, Khan Shaman, Undo West Local Government. You are welcome. Also, Pastor Peter Akin Yewe, Khan Shaman, Okitikupa Local Government. You are welcome, please. Also, here in our presence, is Pastor Akinduro Ayodeji, the Khan Chairman of Irele Local Government. You are welcome, please. Here also with us is uh, Senior Apostle Ogunira of the OAIC ESCO. You are welcome, please. We also have Prophet Olu Bode of Khan, Director of Information. You are welcome, please. And Pastor Dr. Adeleke Kokorayo, PFN State Officials. You are welcome, please. We also have other dignities. We believe we will never go back empty-handed. Jesus says something very famous one day in ancient days, and he said this. He said, come ye who are labored, and I will give you rest. And I hope that you've been able to find rest for your souls, rest in your mind, rest in your marriage, rest in your careers. And if you haven't, I pray at this last day of this crusade that you're, that you're able to find rest for your soul. Join us now as we sing songs from the nations. Be blessed. They say it's all blue. We see circumstances spelling doom. And yes, it's a real struggle to move. Longing for a breakthrough, but no room. And now, you're boxed in. Seems there's no way out. And just then. He says, I am God. I change not. He will hasten his word. A performance will come to your life in Jesus' name. It's time to demonstrate the power of the Lord in your life in Jesus' name. Come alive for GCK Positivity. Look ahead. It's a large field of possibilities. At the largest state, North Central Nigeria, Niger State is the Alpha location. This September 2022, 22nd to 27th, 1600 hours GMT. The guard of all possibilities live. At the Trade Fair Complex, Shango Abuja Road, Mina, Niger State. And broadcast to the world, live, via satellite, social media, radio and television. Featuring special conference where ministers and professionals will experience faith for all possibility. And the Impact Academy will be a super flight of extraordinary pace setters for all youth, young adults and professionals the humble honest and holiness inspired man of excellence your gck convener dr w f kumui will be ministering along with the american gospel singer paul below the god of all possibilities for everyone governors kings and queens it is dr shen zabai nohu the former deputy governor of niger state and i'm glad to we associated with Pastor Kumui. I want to use this opportunity to invite all Nigerians to the global crusade with Kumui. GCK, this September, your season of possibilities. Nothing is impossible.
open on our behalf and bless us mightily in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord, because you have answered. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Oh, Lord, my God, how excellent is your name in all the earth. How excellent is your name, oh, Lord. How excellent is your name. Oh Lord, my God, how excellent is your name in all the earth. How excellent is your name, oh Lord. How excellent is your name in all the earth. How excellent is your name. Praise God, hallelujah. Praise God, amen. Praise God, hallelujah. Praise God, amen. Praise God, praise the Lord. Praise God. Praise God for his mercies. Praise God, amen. Praise God for his goodness. Praise God, amen. Praise the Lord. Praise God. Praise God. Hallelujah. Praise God. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. Praise God. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. Praise God. Amen. We are serving a living God. We are serving a living God. We are serving a living God. Amen. We are serving a living God. We are serving a living God. We are serving a living God. Amen. Amen. We are serving a living God. Amen. Amen. We are serving a living God. We are serving a living God. We are serving a living God. Amen. We are serving a living God who is able to do all things. We are serving a living God. Amen. 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 We say able to do all things. We are serving a living God. Amen. Will you praise the Lord with me? Sisters, praise the Lord with me. Oh, brothers, praise the Lord with me. Everybody praise the Lord with me. Hallelujah. Sing amen. 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 Sing amen. 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 Will you praise the Lord with me? Oh, come and praise the Lord with me. Oh, church, praise the Lord with me. Hallelujah. Everybody praise the Lord with me. Hallelujah. Sing amen. 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 Sing amen. Amen. I stand upon the word of God. I stand upon the word of God. Oh, the word of God can never fail. I am trusting in the word of God. I believe in the word 
of God. I am standing upon the word of God. Oh, I am standing upon the word of God. I am standing upon the word of God. The word of God is power. Touch him and be made whole. Touch him and be made whole. The Son of God is passing by. Now, just now, he will hear your prayer. So touch him and be made whole. Touch him and be made whole. Be made whole. Touch him and be made whole. The Son of God is passing by. Now, just now, he will hear. him and be made whole. Touch him and be made whole. Touch him and be made whole. Touch him and be made whole. The Son of God is passing by. Now, just now, he will hear your prayer. So touch him and be made whole. We need your touch, oh Lord, today. Restore, refresh, revive every soul today. We need your touch. Oh Lord, we pray. Refresh, renew, revive every soul. Touch me one more time, oh Lord. Touch me one more time, oh Lord. I need a touch of the master. I need a touch of the Lord. Touch me one more time, oh Lord. Touch me one more time, Lord. Touch me one more time, I pray. I need a touch of the master. I need a touch of the Lord. Oh, touch me one more time. Touch me one more time, oh Lord. Time, oh Lord. I pray. I need a touch of the master. Touch me one more time. Pass me not, O oh gentle Savior, hear my humble cry. While on others thou art touching, Lord, do not pass me by. Savior, don't pass me by. Savior. Savior, hear my humble cry, hear my humble cry. Do not pass me by, Savior, don't pass me by. Savior, oh Savior, hear my humble cry, hear my humble cry. Do not pass me. Power, power belong to God. Power, power belong to God. All power belong to Jesus. Power to heal belong to God. Power to save belong to Jesus. All power belongs to God. Power 
the power belongs to God. Power, power belongs to God. The man of Calvary. Oh, yes, tonight. The man of Calvary. Yes, in my life and in your life, he will do it again. Jesus of Nazareth. Oh, yes, I know he will do it again. The man of Calvary. Oh, yes, I know. I believe, yes, Lord, I believe, yes, Lord, I believe it is well with me, it is well with me. Yes, it is well with us. Yes, it is well with me. Yes, Lord, I believe. Yes, Lord, I believe it is well. Oh, it is well with me. My prayer is don't pass me by. Don't pass me by. Don't pass me by, my prayer is, don't pass me by, don't pass me by, don't pass me by, don't pass me by, oh Lord. Don't pass me by, don't pass me by, don't pass me by, don't pass me by, Lord. Don't pass me by, don't pass me by, my prayer is. Don't pass me by, don't pass me by, don't pass me by, don't pass me by. My prayer is, don't pass me by, Lord, don't. Don't pass me by, don't pass me by, my prayer is don't pass me by, don't pass me by, don't pass me by. My prayer is, don't pass me by. Don't pass me by, Lord. Don't pass me by. I'm pressing on the upward way. New heights I'm gaining every day. Still praying us, high onward bound. Lord, plant my feet. On higher ground, Lord, lift me up and let me stand by faith on heaven's table land. We are love and joy. Lord, lift me up. Lord, lift me up. And let me stand. Standing on the promises of Christ, my King, through eternal ages, let his praises ring. Glory in the highest, I will shout and sing. Standing on the promises of God, are you standing? Standing.
Standing, I'm standing on the promises of God. Are you standing? Standing on the promises of God. God can do all things. Amen. He can do all things. Our God can do all things. Amen. He can do all things. Oh, God can do all things. Jesus can do all things. Amen. He can do all things. Amen. He can never ever fail. He can never ever fail. He can never ever fail. Jesus the same forever. He can never ever fail. My God will never, never change. He can never ever fail. Jesus the same forever, forever. He can never ever change. He can never ever fail. He can never ever fail. Jesus the same forever, forever. Don't allow me, Lord. Don't allow me, Lord. Don't allow me, Jesus, to go empty-handed. Don't allow me, Lord. Do not allow me, Lord. Don't allow me, Jesus, to go an empty-handed. My life shall be a testimony, testimony, testimony. My life shall be a testimony, testimony to the glory of the Lord, of the Lord. Testimony. Testimony, testimony, my life shall be a testimony, testimony to the glory of the glory of the Lord. My life shall be a testimony, testimony to the glory of the Lord. Do something new in my life, something new in my life, something new in my life. Oh Lord, do something new in my life, something new my life, something new in my life, oh Lord, I pray. Can I hear your voice? I said, praise the Lord. Tonight is my night, a night of blessing, a night of outpouring, special night for everyone in Jesus' name. Amen. Father, we thank you for today. We thank you for our revival session. Thank you for everyone, members, leaders, workers, invitees. We know that today you are not going to miss out on anyone in Jesus' name. Amen. I pray that to shake everything shakeable, yeah. touch every life, yeah. 
turn us around. Lord, show us yourself in manifold ways in Jesus' name. Blessing upon blessing. Signs and wonders upon your people. And those desires we have in our hearts, tonight we pray you meet up with them in Jesus' name. Joy where there has been sadness. Laughter where there has been weeping. Miracle where there has been misery. And we know that today every life will experience it in Jesus' name. Thank you because we know you have answered. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. You are blessed already. You can sit down. We're coming to 1 Kings chapter 18. And I'm reading from verse 1. 1 Kings chapter 18. Reading from verse 1. And it came to pass after many days that the word of the Lord came to Elijah in the third year, saying, Go. Show thyself unto Ahab, and I will send rain upon the earth. I will send rain upon the earth. I'm sure you know the story. There have been famine in the land, and there have been drought in the land, need in the land. You think about poverty, it was in the land. And you think about hunger, it was in the land. And you think about all the needs of their lives, living from hand to mouth, it was there. But now God said, that famine will be over. The hunger will be over. The poverty will be over. And tonight can be a turning point in your life. Can be a turning point in your family. And something marvelously great will happen in your life in Jesus' name. Turn to verse 45 of that same chapter. Verse 1, it says, I will send rain. And in that chapter, the chapter did not end without the rain coming. And tonight, the meeting will not end without your blessing coming. Without your miracle coming. Look at verse 45. And it came to pass in the meanwhile that the heaven was black with clouds and wind. And there was somebody there tell me, what are you expecting tonight? And there was a great rain, a great miracle, a great manifestation, a great blessing, a great outpouring upon every life and every family in Jesus' name. It came to pass, it has come to pass tonight. In the meanwhile, at that very time, that the heaven was black with clouds and wind, and there was a great rain. Tonight, we are looking at the message, the remarkable manifestation of divine favor. The remarkable manifestation of divine favor. What God wants to show you tonight is favor from heaven. Amen. What he wants to implant in your life tonight is favor from heaven. Amen. And the abundance that is going to come upon your life tonight is favor from heaven. Somebody there is receiving already. Amen. It will be upon your life in Jesus' name. Deuteronomy chapter 33, I'm reading from verse 23. Deuteronomy chapter 33. And we're looking at verse 23, the remarkable manifestation of divine favor. It says, and of Naphtali, it said, O Naphtali, satisfied with favor. Can you put your name there? Satisfied with favor. I say, can you put your name there? Because, you know, Naphtali is not here now, and you are the person here tonight. And the Lord is smiling upon your life, and favor is coming upon your life, and it says, you will be satisfied with favor. It says, full with the blessings of the Lord. You are going to be full of the blessings of the Lord tonight. Possess thou the west and the south. And of Asher, he said, let Asher be blessed with children. Families here tonight, be blessed with children. 
You have been married and you are looking for the fruit of the womb tonight. Be blessed with miracle children. Let him be acceptable to his brethren. You'll be acceptable. In your place of work, you'll be acceptable. In your market, you'll be acceptable. And the work of your hand will move on and prosper in Jesus' name. Let him dip his foot in oil. Thy shoes shall be iron and brass. And as thy days, so shall thy strength be. You know, the people who do not have the Lord, the people who do not know the Lord, as their days, so is their weakness. The older they get, the weaker they become. And then they cannot have strength for end time ministry and end time work. But can I see you there? I said, can I see you there? You will be different. Because thy shoes shall be iron in thy feet. And brass upon thy feet. You'll tread on serpents and scorpions. All the powers of the enemies will be under your feet. And as thy days, so shall be thy strength. There is none like unto the God of Jeshurun, who rideth upon the heaven in thy help, and in his excellency on the sky. The eternal God is thy refuge. Underneath thee at the everlasting arms. And he shall throw out the enemy from before thee, Amen. and shall say, Destroy them. Amen. Israel then shall dwell in safety. Amen. Brother, you will dwell in safety. Amen. Sister, you will dwell in safety. Amen. Israel then shall dwell in safety alone. The fountain of Jacob shall be upon a land of corn and wine. Amen. Also, his heavens shall drop down dew. Amen. Happy art thou. Amen. Tears are wiped away. Amen. Happy art thou. Amen. Sorrow is gone. Amen. Happy art thou. Your mystery is forgotten. Amen. Happy art thou, O Israel, who is like unto thee, O people saved by the Lord, the shield of thy help. And who is the sword of thy excellency? Thine enemies shall be found liars unto thee. All their threats lie. All their boasting lie. And anyone that tells you, I will finish you, is a lie. They say you will not cross over, it's a lie. And they say all those problems are coming. If you can go anywhere, go to higher life and go to deeper life and go to further life, that problem will remain there. It's a lie. Your enemy shall be found liars unto you tonight. And thou shalt tread upon their high places. Look at some look at some five. I'm looking at some five. I was looking at verse twelve. Some five. I was looking at verse twelve. You are blessed tonight. Things are turned around tonight in your life. Look at verse twelve. For thou, O Lord, wilt bless the righteous with favor. With what? What's coming upon your life tonight? What's going with you to your place of work tomorrow? I was going to be your community. Upon your children going to school. Upon your wife going to market. Upon your relatives that come to visit you. Upon anyone that takes shelter in your house. And then tonight at the time of prayer. I said tonight at the time of prayer. What's coming upon your life tonight? Favor. With favor wilt thou compass him as with a shield, the shield of the Lord that will protect and preserve your life. He'll cover you with favor tonight in Jesus' name. The remarkable manifestation of divine favor. We're coming back to First Kings chapter 18. 
First Kings chapter 18, there are three points we're looking at. Number one, the promise from the Almighty. The promise from the Almighty. Point number two, the preparation for abundance. Abundance is coming. So financial abundance, material abundance, professional abundance, joy upon joy, goodness upon goodness, the abundance of the Lord. Point number two, the preparation for abundance. Point number three, the prayer with assurance. The prayer we pray tonight, there's no prayer of doubt. There's no prayer of unbelief. I was waiting for an amen from that corner. There's no prayer of maybe or maybe not. Tonight, there's going to be a confirmation. Your life, a confirmation. Because it's going to be the prayer with... Tell me, tell me. The prayer with assurance you will see in your life. You will sense in your body something tangible will happen to everyone tonight in jesus name number one tell me number one there the promise from the almighty we're coming back to first kings chapter 18 verse 1 and it came to pass after many days that the word of the lord came to elijah the word of the Lord came to Elijah. You know, any time the word of the Lord came to Elijah, he knew that there was going to be a performance. And you must have the same mind. You must have the same attitude. You must have the same faith. You must have the same expectation. As the word of God is coming to you, there's going to be a manifestation tonight. There's going to be a performance tonight. It says the word of the Lord, this one supersedes every other word you have heard. Every other word Ahab might have spoken. Every other word the Baal worshippers might have spoken. Every other word that man's grace might have spoken. Every other word idolaters might have spoken. This word of the Lord supersedes everything. Every other word you have in your life. Every other 